Now you tell me. And when the Philistines heard of Israel had assembled at Mizpah, the rulers of the Philistines came up to attack them. And when the Israelites heard of it, they were afraid because of the Philistines, their arch enemies. And they said to Samuel, do not stop crying out to the Lord God for us. Do not stop crying out. It was mentioned some time ago, and I preached on it, I don't know when it was, a while back. I think a book has even been written on it. And that is called, I believe it's called, The Counterfeit Religion of Today. And I, I believe that. I believe there is a counterfeit Christianity in our world today. And if you don't look closely at it, there's no way you can tell that that's a counterfeit $20 bill. There's just no way. I mean, you, just, you know, if you're not educated, you don't have judgment or discernment or insight, or you're not looking for it, you're going you're gonna to pass that $20 counterfeit bill. And people, there's a counterfeit religion in our world today. And the payment that God is asking His church and His people and you and I to make, one of those payments is that we do not stop crying out to God on behalf of our country. Yes. And we're going to do that in just a few moments. And folks, I want you to know that this pastor cries out every day on your behalf. That this pastor cries out to God every single day on behalf of his congregation. Do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us, that he may rescue us from the hands of the Philistines. Then Samuel took a suckling lamb. It's time for another payment. Do we understand that? It is absolutely essential and crucial to the prosperity of our faith that we understand the concept of God requiring a payment. Then Samuel took a suckling lamb, obviously of the coming of the Lord, but he took a suckling lamb and offered it up as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. And he cried out to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered him. He answered him as a result of the payment. It was the payment. <laughs> it was the payment. If I pray and ask God for something, pray and ask God for something, and I cease to make a payment, Verse 10. While Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to engage Israel in the battle. Now I gotta tell you folks, it looks it looks bleak. It absolutely looks bleak. These huge giants and these incredible warriors are coming closer and closer and closer. Our military is decimated right now. I don't know if you've known or if you've heard the statistics. Half of our airplanes can even fly right now. And those half that are flying are 20, 30, and 40 years old. And we're having to cannibalize old airplanes in museums because we don't have money to buy new parts, let alone build new airplanes build new ships, build new helicopters. We're more worried about equality. We're more worried about equity than we are efficiency. We're more worried in this country. They were celebrating Queen Elizabeth's birthday the other day. Did you see that on the news? 90 years old. She looked pretty good for 90 years old. She really did. 
and in all of their pompous military array, and I mean, it is glorious, right? The clothes, the hats, the marching. I mean, it is, it is absolutely spectacular. But you know what? They don't have one option to fight. There is no fight in the Brits. There is no fight in Europe anymore. You know what? And I'm tired of hearing this country is war weary. Fifty people were killed this morning in Orlando, Florida by another terrorist attack. And we're war weary and we're flying 30 year old planes. There is no judgment in Washington DC today. There is no judgment. There's no God and there's no judgment. And if Russia and North Korea wanted to come after us all at one time, you better load your pistols, and you better load your rifles. Folks, we are experiencing a modern day, a modern day. Now when we get done here today, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We're probably gonna take our boat out. You're probably gonna take your boat out. And we're going to live our happy lives, and God blesses, and we're thankful for that. Say amen. amen. But before we take our boats out, we're going to spend some time in the sea. Yes. Hallelujah. And while Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offerings, the Philistines drew near to engage Israel in battle. But that day, the Lord thundered with loud thunder against the Philistines and threw them into such a panic that they were routed before the Israelites. The men of Israel rushed out of Mespah and pursued the Philistines, slaughtering them along the way to a point below beth -car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mespah and Shem. And he named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far has the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued and did not invade Israel territory again. Jump down now to verse 17. Samuel always went back to Ramah, where his home was, and there he also judged Israel. And he built an altar there to the Lord. And he built an altar there to the Lord. That's why we come to the altar. That's why we're going to come to the altar. And folks, we need a God-sized thunder to get a hold of the human race today. We need a God-sized thunder in our churches today. We need a God-sized thunder to take place in preachers of the gospel today. I need a God-sized thunder that will thunder in me and cause me to step forward in the great liberation of the Word of God and the power of His forgiveness, salvation, and truth. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Honey, if you come now, 